You were one hour clinically dead, right? Uh, 47 minutes on paper from the time that they, they found me and pronounced me dead until they revived the body. That was 47 minutes. So, so the, so there's documented 47 minutes of no oxygen, no heart rate, but I was dead likely an hour before they found me. So, so at least do you have those documents? Um, I, it's, it's all public record through the, the, uh, the medical transport. Yeah. You should get, you should get those uh, documents before I have the, the, I have the life support photos of me on life support. You were also shown several years of your future, right? Yeah. I was shown uh, about 50 years. So I was shown quick glimpses of 50 years. Yeah. What about your life or the world? Um, the world and then, um, got to see a little bit of my life, but not, but not a detailed you... glimpse. What I didn't know at this time is my body was brain dead in a hospital and it had been brain dead for three days. It had been in a coma for three days. And at the end of those three days, my brother was giving my body a prayer, special blessing. And with that prayer, he commanded me to be made whole. He commanded my soul to come back to my body. He commanded my spirit to return. And when he finished that prayer, I felt, I felt very fast. I was removed out of the heavenly realm and I was put back in my body. But right before I was put back in my body, the way that time works is time doesn't exist in heaven, doesn't exist at all. And so time only exists here on earth. And as that was happening, they were slotting me into my time. I could see far into the future. I could see far into the past. And I could see that our past is our future and our future is our past. And that, that we are on one big cycle on the earth school. And that if you do look far enough ahead, you're going to see our future and see our past all in one. I saw that in the, in the near future, that the entire planet looks very different. I, I saw that there's an, an, an inland ocean in the middle of the United States. I saw that there is, um, all sorts of seismic changes that are happening to the entire planet. And amongst all of that, I saw these beautiful cities of light and they, they go all over the earth. And that as these cities of light start, start growing and being built by community. And when I say community, I mean, people start gathering in sacred places all over the earth and they start building community and they start first with the energy of community. And then they start building actual buildings of community. And as that's going on, uh, the earth itself is essentially having a separation of society. People are either choosing to go towards the, the inner light and, and joining one of these communities, or they're going into survival mode where they're going into these, you know, uh, broke down cities and they're fighting each other. They're killing each other. They're robbing each other, raping each other. They're doing all of the selfish path that they can to try to survive. And that I saw that the, the, the entire planet splits. It becomes either you're going towards the light, towards the community, or you're going towards the selfish, towards the survival. And uh, that it, I feel that it's still quite a ways off. But I don't feel it's that far away, though. I feel like the Earth is well on its way towards that trajectory. But I'll tell you that if you are, if you lean towards the community, lean towards that light, that inner light, it guides you to the right place. It guides you to the right time and the right people where you find your community. And, and it will feel as if you're finding family that you've always known even though you don't know their name or where they came from, you know it's your family. And amongst these communities, we see great miracles, true miracles. People will come into these communities with cancers and problems, 
And the community itself will come around in love and support of each individual. And as they do, they will heal them completely of anything that is ailing the body, anything. And of course, the, the healing is only limited by the belief of the individual who's receiving the healing. But the healings are powerful and miraculous. And that these happen all over in all of these communities of light. And it seems as if our creator is allowing the earth to separate its ego and its soul, its spirit and its ego from, it, from itself. And that those who dwell in those communities of light, they're able to see the, the change that is possible for all of us. And the entire planet goes to a higher place as this is happening. And, and then from there, there's also some, some beautiful things ahead. And I'll tell you that if you're dwelling in the ego space or in the edging God out space, if you're dwelling in that space, you end up feeling like God is being pushed away from you, that your divinity is being squished out of you. And, and so for me, I definitely want to triangulate my life towards living towards that, that, those communities of light. Okay. This rearrangement of the geographical uh, circumstances, does that imply a uh, catastrophe? How will this happen? Like uh, earthquakes or what? I, I wasn't able to see how it gets changed, but I have a strong feeling a strong feeling that there is a lot of seismic activity that happens to facilitate this happening. I do. I feel like seismic is going to be a major part. I also feel that a, a pole reversal, so magnetic pole reversal, which that happens every so many times, so many years on earth. I feel that's also going to be a major part of it. Um, I feel like it's us too, like our actions towards each other. There, it could be some type of big mistake that we make as humanity that also triggers part of this. But either way, I'm not worried about it. I do want to be in the right place at the right time. But if I'm in the wrong place, I'm excited to go back home. I'm so excited to go back home. So for me, I do want to you know, do my due diligence, but at the same time, if I happen to be in a place where I get to go home, I'm excited about that. I've really tried to change the way I live, especially with the things that I saw that are... What would you say is the religion in heaven? Um, in heaven, there is no religion. Religion is something for earth to help get us closer to heaven. When we have heaven obtained within us, um, we have no need of religion. Religion is just, it's kind of like a ladder to help us climb. But once we're there, we don't need the religion anymore. You talked about inner guides, or uh, is it just one guide, or do you have several inner guides? Because be before we began, um, you, said, you said you were contact your inner guides. Sure. Yeah. So for me, the way that it works for me is um, I've got a team of, of helpers, and I call them my guides. In, in religion, we call that the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit or the Spirit. And what it is, it's, it's partially representatives working for the Creator and partially representatives working for my ancestry. And they work together and they guide all of us. And everybody has guides. Everybody has guides. Uh, the question is, do we listen to them? But I'll, I'll give you a perfect example when someone's listening to their guides and they don't know that they are. Um, you're going about your regular day and all of a sudden someone's name or their face just pops into your head. And the first thing you think of when you see their face in your mind is you think, hey, I need to reach out to that person. And if you reach out to them, you'll hear them say something like, wow, I was just thinking of you too. And this is great to connect. Uh, if you don't reach out to them, then they're going to call you or you're going to see them you know, in, in going out on the town, you'll see them face to face. But there's a reason why we have this, this connectedness. All of us are connected through the, the quantum fabric of life. 
through the, the spirit of life, we are all connected. And if we can allow that connection to be electrical, we get a much better connection with our spirit guides, with our ancestors, with our loved ones, or as religious puts it, religion puts it, um, the Holy Ghost. You get a stronger connection with your Holy Ghost. Well, thank you. This is this is, has been amazing. I really appreciate that, AJ, and and I appreciate you for for having this channel because there's there's a lot of entertainment options out there. I love that you're an op, an opportunity, an alternative to be something positive for people. So so thank you for being that option. That that's tremendous. If someone wants to contact you. How can they do this? So they can do that through my website. It's livinggodslight.com. Um, I, I help people live within the light of God or, or within the, the light of the deity that they believe in. And, and I do all of that through uh, my nonprofit, uh, livinggodslight.com. This has been the AJ Parr Spiritual Journalist Podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe.